Hi friends, um, we will create a simple animation today. Um, we will start off by um, getting Cassie. So you, you see Cassie has been uh, placed, uh, Cassie is a sprite on Scratch. Um, um, on a stage background, we're going to get Cassie to dance um, and we'll do that first in Scratch um, and later on we will um, do the same thing using microbit. So we'll use the controls on the microbit um, to get Cassie to move around. Um, so head over to Scratch. Um, your URL is scratch.mit.edu. So head over to Scratch. Um, let's um, create a simple project. Um, um, what I'm going to do is I will start out by deleting the sprite. So I've got a cat sprite on the screen. So let's delete that. I'm going to get rid of this cat sprite. Um, I'll then select another sprite. Um, let's select Cassie. So I'll select Cassie as my sprite. What I'll also do is, so this is for choosing a sprite, um, and we selected Cassie, and what I'm also going to do now is head over to the corner and choose a backdrop. Um, now I'm going to, I'm, I intend to put Cassie on stage, so I will select the stage backdrop. Um, there we go. So that's the stage. So I've placed Cassie Cassie is a sprite, um, and in Scratch you can program sprites. I put put Cassie on a stage. Um, what I want to do now is get Cassie to to dance to some music. So let's say I'm going to pick the when flag clicked um, forever. Play some interesting music. And let's test that out. So, so that's um, Scratch playing music um, in a forever loop. Stop that now. Um, what I now want to do is I want to get Cassie to move around. So I want Cassie. Cassie's got different costumes. Um, we should be able to see that um, by clicking on the costume tab. So I've got Cassie selected here. Cassie is the only sprite on the screen. I've um, got a costume. Then you see Cassie's got four different costumes. And this one's a default costume. So I'll go back um, and I'll say, okay, when uh, spacebar is clicked, change the costume. Where is change costume? Okay, there we go. Next costume. So that should basically um, give us the functionality to get Cassie to dance every time we click the space bar. So let's try it out. Uh, here we go. I'll press the space bar. So there we go. We've created a simple program where we've got um, Cassie to dance. Um, um, to some music, lovely music, um, and we have um, we put that together by simply using um, a forever uh, loop to play music and the when space key pressed option to keep changing costumes, um, and that gives us the um, it, it gives an effect um, or it, it seems like uh, Cassie is dancing to some lovely music. Now, what we'll do next is we will um add support for the micro bit so let's go ahead and let's say um so we clicked on the on, on the left hand side add extension option pick the micro bit um and it says looking for devices and if you remember um yes if you've seen the previous video you would have seen you would have real you would have seen the um approach used to install scratch link um get scratch link running on your machine um and also to download um, the uh, the hex hex file onto the microbit. So there are two things you need to do to be able to use microbit with Scratch. Um, please check out our video from yesterday. If you haven't done that, you can um, you can go to 
um, I'll quickly show you the video um, which has the um, which has the approach to get your uh, microbit connected to scratch there we go so that's at ostoilib.com.au connecting scratch 3 with the bbc microbit um, so head over to ostoilib.com.au go to the news and update section and you will find connecting scratch 3 with the bbc microbit um, scroll right down and there's a video that walks you through the process of adding the um, adding my microbit support for scratch so we'll go back so there are two things um, you need to do you need to install scratch link and get it installed um, download it and get it installed and you need to download a hex file um, which you need to save onto the microbit to enable um, microbit support for scratch so i won't go into that in detail um, please um, if you need to pause pause the video right now go back um, look at the uh, tutorial from yesterday um, and come back later um, so what we will do is we will I'll connect my microbit to the computer um, let's do that right now I'm just connecting the microbit to the computer and I'm saying look for devices um, and it won't find it um, so what we'll do is um, head over to the start menu look for scratch link uh, make sure that we've got scratch link running there's scratch link let's click on scratch link there we go so now that we've let's try again i've got my microbit connected to the computer um let's do that and let's see what it what it comes up with um there you go and it's found um microbit um let's say connect awesome okay so there we go um we go to the editor again um, now that we are back what we'll do is we'll go down and scroll right down until you come to the micro bit blocks um, and what we will do now is basically say when button pressed next costume and what that should do is very very simply every time you press button a on your microbit your microbit's got two different buttons button a button b um it should um, change costume so let's try that out now um stop and we cut the program and this time i'm not going to use the space bar key but i'll use the button a on the microbit there we go sweet can you see microbit um, blocks uh, glowing every time I press the microbit uh, the button A on microbit so that's it um, it's very very easy to add functionality to the microbit functionality to your scratch program um, uh, we've put together a simple program today where we've got a, a scratch um, sprite on screen um, which was animated initially just using um, simple scratch blocks uh, we played some music forever in a forever loop um, and then after that we added a couple of blocks that gave us the functionality to change costume every time the space bar key was pressed on the keyboard and then we took it a bit further where we added a micro bit functionality um, and then finally after enabling the micro bit modules we've um, written code to such that every time button A is pressed on the microbit, it changes um, the costume. Um, so with basic blocks like these, you can create um, complex programs. Um, you can create animation, you can create games, you can create a lot of fantastic um, um, programs in Scratch. Um, I would encourage you to explore Scratch um, and use the microbit to create some really exciting games, animation, um, and applications. Um, thank you for your time. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Cheers.